Hello there, I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to create a drop down list where you can make multiple selections. Now this is something that you cannot do with the native drop down that is there in Excel. So to do this we are going to use a very simple VBA code. Let's see how to do this. Now before I show you how to make this drop down and where to put the VBA code, let me quickly show you the end result. So here I have these names in column A and I have this column B which is training and I have these drop downs where I can select these trainings. Now usually a drop down is only going to allow you one option. For example, I can select Excel and when I make uh, another selection, Excel would be removed and that selection would come here. But in this case, see what happens when I select PowerPoint, it would keep Excel and it would add PowerPoint to the list of trainings and you can continue to add multiple trainings in this uh, drop down. Now another thing you can do with it is if you want to remove a training, so you can come back and you can select that option again. So for for example, if I want to remove word from here, I can select word and it is going to remove that option from this drop down. So the VBA code has been made in such a way that it allows you multiple selections. There are no repetitions. And if you want to remove an option, you can quickly select that option again and it would be removed. Now let's see how to do this using the VBA code. So now let me show you how to make the drop down that would allow multiple selection. So here I have the same data and I want to make these drop downs in this range of cells. So to do that, I'm going to first select this range of cells, then go to the data tab. And here in data tools, I have this icon for data validation. So I'm going to click on this option. And when I do that, it opens the data validation dialog box. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt A V V to open the same data validation dialog box. Now here in the settings tab, I'm going to come here in allow drop down and choose list. Now here in the source, I need to specify what options I want in my dropdown. In this case, I have these options already listed as a list in a range in Excel. But if you want, you can also manually type these separated by a comma. Now in this case, I would just select this range and then click OK. So now it creates a dropdown and where each of these cells has the dropdown. But as you can expect, uh, this is native dropdown in Excel. So this would only allow you one option and you can only make one selection at a time. If you make another selection, the previous selection goes away. So now we will use a VBA code to make that multi-select dropdown. Now I already have this VBA code. So let's open it and I'm going to copy this. Now, full disclosure, I wrote this code a couple of years ago when there was no AI and the code that I wrote was not very efficient. So I used AI to make this more efficient and make it in a way where it would allow you to make multiple selections and remove the previously selected value. So if you want to understand how this code works, you can just put it in any AI tool and it will explain how to use this. And if you want to make any changes in the code, you can also do that easily. Now that I've copied the code, let's go to the VB editor. So I would go to the the developer tab and here I would click on visual basic and when I do that it opens the visual basic editor you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt f11 to do this so hold the alt key press the f11 key it will also open this VB editor now here on the left you will see this projects folder this pane and if you do not see this you can go to the view tab and then click on project explorer and then you will see all the sheets that are there in your workbook now as of now i have two sheets one is called drop down in the brackets and the other one is called sheet 2 now this vba code needs to be put in the sheet because what we are doing is something that is impacting the selections that we make within the sheet so i'm going to double click on this option which says drop down so you need to make uh, you need to double click on the sheet name where you want to create this drop down and then in this code box in this uh, place where the cursor is blinking I'm going to paste my code now in this code I have these uh, comments that I've already put so you can just go through this code and understand what it does but as I said if you want to change this or understand better then you can use any AI tool now this is an event and you can see this is worksheet underscore change which is an event which means anytime there is a change in the worksheet this code would be run and it would check whether there is this uh, drop down or not and if there is a drop down then it would make the behavioral change in the drop down that would allow multiple selection so let's minimize this and let's go back here and now we can see if i come here and i select another training it allows me to make these multiple selections and if you want to remove any of the trainings you can come back and let's say i want to remove power automate i can click on it and it will remove power automate but keep the remaining trainings now in this example uh, the delimiter which is the thing that is separating these trainings is a comma followed by a space character now in your case if you want it to be something different let's say you want this to be a pipe symbol then you can make the change in the code either you can use an ai tool to make the change or i'll quickly show you where to just make the change so here i have these places where i have 
comma followed by delimiter. So I have an old value, which is the old value in the drop down and new value in the drop down. And here I have the separator, which is comma followed by space. Now, as I said, you do not need to understand this code. Just come here and you can make the change. For example, in this case, if I want the delimiter to be a pipe symbol, I can come here, use the pipe symbol with space on both sides, but you'll have to make this change uh, in, a in a couple of places. So here I again have this thing. So I'll make this change here and I have this here as well. So these are the three places where I'm going to make the change. Now, when I go back and I choose anything, you'll see that it is now using the pipe symbol. Now, if I want to remove word, uh, the problem here is that I, I did not remove this training before I made the change. So it doesn't actually understand it. So let's remove everything and now start from scratch. So if I choose Excel, then I choose PowerPoint. You can see that the delimiter is now a space, uh, a pipe symbol followed by space on both sides. And if you want to remove any training, you can come back and you can remove it. For example, in this case, if I choose PowerPoint, that training is removed. Another thing you would probably want is in this example, I have this, uh, these drop down behaviors, which is multi select enabled only in this range. But if you want to make a change in the range, for example, maybe you do not want this to be in B2 to B15 or B2 to B100, you want it in another column or in another range, then you can make the change. Uh, so let's go to the VB editor. And here you will notice that I have these changes done in this range, which is range B2 to B100, which means that this is my range where I can make the drop downs. And this would be checked whether there is a drop down in it or not. And if there is a drop down, then this code would make the behavioral change, which would, uh, which would allow multiple selection. But if you want to change this, you can make the change here. For example, you can change the range here. If you want to change anything, for example, let's say you want it to happen in B2 to B100, but also C2 to C100. Now, as of now, if I go back here, and I create a drop down in this case. So let's say let's create it in column C. Sorry. And you try here, you'll see that it does not work because uh, right now, there is no multiple selection behavior in this drop down that is only applied on B2 to B100. So if you also want to apply it to C2 to C100 or change it from B2 to B100 to C2 to C100, you can come here and either make the change here or you can use union and then within union you can specify multiple ranges for example in this case i can use union and then say i want b2 to b100 as well as c2 to c100 so here i would make the change make this from b2 to c2 or uh, c2 to c100 and now when i go back this should work so now when i make another change you can see it's working. So if you want to apply to multiple ranges, you can change the VBA code. If you want to apply to an entire column, you can do that as well. And in case you are stuck anywhere, you can simply go to any uh, AI tool and ask for help. Now I am going to give you this file in the description. So I will have a link in the description so you can download this file and you can use the VBA code. Another very important thing is because this is a VBA code, you will have to save this file as a macro enabled file. So you, when you're saving this file, save it with, with a .xlsm extension because otherwise your VBA code Code would be lost or you won't be able to use it in the file. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please let me know in the comment section and also subscribe to this channel so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.